He thought it was in a great white shark, but he didn't feel any teeth. And then he realised he'd been swallowed whole by a whale. That's incredible. The B-side word. Michael Packard, lobster diver, was minding his own business, plucking lobster off the ocean bed. Yeah. His vessel that he, you know, had brought him there, which was called the Jar and J, mm. was floating off nearby. I guess this is off the Herring Cove Beach. I think this is in, I'm guessing it's South Africa, mm. Cape Cod area. Where's that? Oh, Cape Cod, anyway. South Africa. I don't, I don't know. know. Is it? I, I literally. Cape Cod? Can, no. Someone, where's Cape Cod? I think it's Australia. It's Boston, Massachusetts. What? Oh, it's Massachusetts. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Let's no, just Cape Cod, Australia. <clears throat> Wait, Herring Coast, did I say? Herring Cove Beach. Herring Cove Cape Beach. Co- I've been, I say, I've been to Cape Cod in Massachusetts. It is in... Maybe there's um, multiple Cape Cods. Oh, it is. It's yeah. in America. It's in, it's in Provincetown in Massachusetts. Yeah. <clears throat> but there is so, a Cape, Cape Cod in Australia. And I'm sure there's probably one in South Africa. Yeah, Let's yeah. just uh, throw that out there. So... <laughs> I, think you were, I think you were thinking of Cape Town, but... Yeah, I know, that, I know there's Cape Town, but... I was thinking, oh, yeah, Cape Town, Cape... Anyway, so he's just, you know, what what he said happened was he, f- he was just doing, you know, what he was doing, collecting lobster, and then all of a sudden he felt a huge shove and then things went black. Yeah. He thought it was in a great white shark, but he didn't feel any teeth. And then he realised he'd been swallowed whole by a whale. That's incredible. How do you realise when you're inside of a whale that you've been swallowed by a whale? He didn't. He like, just... what point of reference do you have to go, oh, oh, oh yeah, no, I'm he in a whale. Pinocchio. He knew that... He saw Pinocchio in there, and then he asked him, right, hey, Pinocchio, what is this? He's like, I don't know, sir. I think we've been swallowed by a whale. <laughs> is that... He is that had the sensation that he was still moving. Yeah. yeah. So he okay. could feel, he felt like he was still moving, yeah. but things were black, right? Mm. He was in his scuba scuba sort of stuff still, and he starts, so he starts struggling because he's like, I'm a goner. Like, I've been eaten. <laughs> I'm a goner. And he's thinking of his two kids at home um, who are teenagers. When, when he starts struggling and everything, the whale starts shaking its head side to side. So bearing in mind the vessel is also just nearby too. So the person on the vessel sees this sees a lot of commotion happening on the on the surface of the water and this whale's shaking its head. And he just spits him back out whole basically. Um was he standing up in the whale? He was just yeah, um, how, the whale was probably like that. So he mouth? was so he was and this was this was a medium sized humpback whale. So he was the whale was big enough that it didn't hurt him. And he just opened his mouth and swallowed it. So they think that what happened was when a whale opens its mouth to feed and humpbacks don't have teeth, um, it sort of creates a parachute effect with their mouth and it must have, and it kind of blinds the whale a bit from what, it obscures its vision. So it didn't see the diver. And it's just opened its mouth to collect the fish because there's a lot of these fish around in the area. And he's just swallowed him yeah, but- right into his stomach. So did he... In, so did he stand up? Can he stand up in the way? No. So he's just flat? Yeah, like I guess there's enough room to move around. And he went into the stomach? Or is he on the tongue? He wasn't on the tongue. He was in the stomach? Yeah. Is this, so. this is unreal. <laughs> this is blowing my mind. This is unreal. I don't think he was you, on the tongue. You sure he was I believe in the stomach? He was in, I believe he was in the t- stomach because the, what they said is that usually um, the whales... It, you wouldn't be able to get through past the esophagus, but this guy was completely in this whale. So, yeah. So he spits him out and this guy, Michael, didn't have any broken bones. He had quite a lot of uh, soft tissue damage, but no broken bones. And he lived to tell another day. Man versus wild. What? Do you know what would you know have been more impressive? Mm. Oh, you don't up. think that's impressive enough? <laughs> 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 if the whale did what? Pooped him out. Pooped him out. Oh, God. <laughs> so this is the guy here. Because for the rest of his life, everyone that calls him a piece of shit 
We'll be telling the truth. Oh. But he wouldn't he wouldn't have been pooped out as him. He would have been that grease, whatever it was. The perfume. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That oh, value. Ab- 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 abalone. Yes. Is it? Is oh, it? not abalone. No, what is it? I know what he's talking about. That, Am- that- Amber grease. Oh, Amber yeah. grease. Yeah, yeah. So it says, yeah, the sperm. Oh, it was a. Uh, it was a. Oh no, that was a different time. I see, no. Someone's another person got swallowed. Wait, what? Yeah, a sperm. A sperm whale swallowed a Cape Cod man off Cape Verde Island 150 years ago. Um, but yeah, he knew that it wasn't a shark because he didn't feel any teeth. So he's like, if it was a shark, there would have been teeth because he and it, he initially thought great white shark because in that area there's lots of them. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Um. He knew that he didn't feel he didn't he wasn't in pain like he'd you know suffered any obvious wounds. So what is his actual description of what happened? He just said I was completely inside. It was completely black. I thought to myself, "There's no one getting out." He thought he was gonna. He thought he was a goner. He said he began to struggle. The whale began shaking its head. Uh, so the the diver knew that he didn't. The whale didn't like him being in there. Yeah. Uh, He reckons he was inside the whale for 30 to 40 seconds before the whale finally surfaced. Then he saw light and he start and the whale started throwing its head side to side. Next thing he knew, he was outside in the water. They don't eat big things, do they? No, they They don't. Like really small. They eat like the shrill, like shrill fish, like small fish. Yeah. One minute warning. So, but (laughs) get this right. My, this, what did I say his name was? Was it Michael? Michael. Let's say Michael. Michael Packard. This isn't <laughs> like this is not the first time he's he's almost been a goner. What? He he I feel like he's had nine lives. He must have been a cat in his previous life. I don't know. But um yeah, he 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 has uh he's he's had run ins before. I'm just trying to find what they were again because I read it before. So, apparently being a lobster diver is quite pretty pretty tough. You're in cold waters. Um, <coughs> you've often got like bigger things like sharks and stuff around you. Um, you get dragged out to sea. That's happened to him. So, that's one of the things. He was dragged out to sea and he treaded water for hours before being rescued. Mm. He's once found and recovered a dead body of a fellow diver. He was an abalone diver mm. with great white sharks and in an area where the great whites did kill a lot of people. He's also survived a plane crash 10 years ago whilst traveling in Costa Rica. He's, he was in a small plane that crashed in the jungle. It killed the pilot, the co-pilot and the passenger. He got multiple serious injuries to his abdomen and upper body um and they were in the jungle for uh two nights and they were basically told you wouldn't have survived another night have you seen the film final destination yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah it just keeps trying to get him i I think something's after him Mm. yeah but he's got a guardian angel yes. or something. Someone's after him, but the guardian angel's like, not today. Not today, mate. One thing that we can really take away from this story is that humpbacks are nice. They won't try and kill you. So out of I, all I, the I things- don't think they're nice. I think something got stuck in you. It's like when you have something, you eat something and it gets stuck in your throat. You're like, oh, I don't like it. And you- no, apparently incidents <laughs> like a furball or something. of feeding yeah. humpbacks, injuring swimmers and divers are extremely rare, basically non-existent. So is that not mostly and- because they're not in the same water most of the time? Yeah. No, it says incidents of feeding humpbacks, injuring swimmers and divers, especially instances of swallowing them, are so exceedingly rare, non-existent. Um, and they and basically, unlike toothed but- whales such as your orcas, they don't cause injuries with their mouth or they don't explore things with their mouth. They use their tails. <laughs> the B side word. <laughs> 